night we sleep on silken sheets. We drink fine wine and eat red meat.
It's the center of the storm Something magic being born
Play some that you know as well tonight. This afternoon. We've never played it in the afternoon before. Never got up so early. Anyway, you may not recognize this at first, but I'm sure that uh, you will later on. It's called Homburg. And the ceiling was too tall 
My last CD is called The VIP Room.
Waddle on guitar. Yeah. one from our Grand Hotel album a few years ago, a real long time ago actually. Um, if anybody's grandparents are here, they might remember this one. <laughs> Called Fires.
We'll play one that you've never heard, which I know you're going to enjoy. What is next, by the way? Ah, see, it's never the one I think it is. I usually forget to turn the page. <laughs> enjoy this one. It's a bit of rock called Nothing But The Truth. Nothing but the truth. Now we do the one I said that you haven't heard before. It's called Into the Flood. And um, it's got a few little bits of music in it. And it's going to feature the Dansk Radio Hunting Hunting Orchestra. Oh, that's Radio Core.
to start it off because they're very very good at sort of that we will rock you type stuff
very much. I think we broke, broke a harm when we played with an orchestra, and it's been very, very nice, and a great honor and pleasure to have been invited here by everybody. Um, and we're thoroughly enjoying it. It's not a great battle, Broke Harm and Orchestra. Everything seems to fit all right. And we'd like to play the next one for uh, all of our friends that were not able to be here today.
Hang on, I just recovered from that one. I'd like to play one that we, oh, well, I didn't even say, but of course you wouldn't know, but uh, we are from England. <laughs> Close friends always with the Danes, since you stopped coming over to Norfolk in 700 AD anyway. And now we're all getting on fine. We don't want the Euro, you don't want the Euro, so we're all happy at the moment. But I tell you, we see a lot more smiling faces in Denmark than you see in London. It's an old English dream.
This next one just might take a little bit of explaining because it hasn't really come out on a record except on a very, very obscure one once. Um, and it involves my neighbour, Sid. Now, Sid, who's now in his 80s, he told me his story one day because uh, I noticed that he couldn't eat any rich food at all. He just uh, very plain and, and he could never hear very well. And he told me that when he was 19, he had to go across to France to fight for his country in 1939. He didn't get much of a fight because he got caught about the third day. And he, had to, he was taken away to Poland where he had to work for everybody for a few years. And when he came back, age 24, he was a changed man. But a brave man. And I think on November the 11th, every year we remember our good soldiers that have protected us in years before. This is sympathy for the hard of hearing. Sailed his ears 